Hello there. As you can see, we're not using Arch anymore, at least not on the main layer. That's because I installed Windows on this computer to do some game development. And I am still running Arch on the subsystem. So if you look down the bottom left of Visual Studio Code, it says WSL Arch. So that's where the scripts are running, which means I can verify that they still work in Linux as we would expect. And you can see the result on the right. So let's get into it. So right now I am just writing a list of everything I want to get done today. So what we still need to do is add links on the individual on the tags pages, um, linking to the individual tags, linking to the tags index page, linking to the post itself, and then adding some kind of functionality to be able to go back to the home page without pressing the back button. And then maybe including a header. I spend quite a lot of time just going over everything, getting to grips with how it works again because it's been a while since I looked at this code. I actually end up changing quite a lot of the structure of the proc file and a little bit in the tags file. But Let's go over the proc file first. I added this uh, echo running proc just to show that it was running to make it a bit easier to see what was going on. I separated all these statements out into individual lines because I think when I first started making this for some reason I thought I had to join them. I'm not sure why. Um, and then we actually get the post names as a variable and loop through it using a for loop. The reason for this is because then we can do some extra things at the bottom here without having to do like crazy piping stuff. Um, and actually just before this, we copy all the post files from the source directory into the proc directory into posts. And that's so that we can actually just change these files once then run the um, include and then run ASCII doctor and then all we have to do is like one little change and then run it again so that'll get us the post files in the main page the post files in their own individual page and in the tags page which we'll go over next um, one other thing I should mention is these three lines here, pretty important. So this one is adding a style sheet to the top. That's what this one is. The one is get the first line. And then we're searching for the whole line, replacing it with this, and then the backslash one, which is the first match, which is the line. So we're just adding this above, and then we're doing the same thing again with this link back to the home page. Um, and then this one is just to add a link to the individual post in the listing. Now, as you can see in the browser here, we've got the title links, which is, uh, which is this line, line 24, right here. Now if we click it, it takes us to the individual post page which is cool and then it has this little home button where we can go back to home and from here we can click the tags because it just generated um, all the tags as you'll see in this file generates them all in one place and then uses the same the same post file which is this one in three different includes so these are the time tags these are the ASCII tags. This is the tags file. I'm going to go over how I made this. So the most important change here is this this one, the green one. Oh, well, they're all green, uh, but this one. And also up here. So we use a T here so we can split the output 
and then we actually stick it in this file all tags so now we have a list of all the tags before they've been uniqued that's important because it lets us count the amount of files that have particular tags and that's what we're doing here so we output this file all tags and we sort it and then we use unique with dash c which is the count method and that returns something that looks kind of like this um, one a, not one so let's say there's tags a b c one a one b one c and let's say we've got d d like that something like that then it'll be like this that gives us this this kind of structure and then this set is just replacing that um, with something that looks a little bit better for our purposes and then sticking it into the index adoc file so that's uh, that's what we have over in the browser now yeah so that's pretty much it um, and what we're going to be doing next is actually you know what I'm not sure I'm going to think about it we'll see if there's anything else to be done catcher